Hey everybody, my name is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and this is another video for bitcoin101.alexmerced.com and in this video what I want to talk about is how do you trade crypto. You could buy and sell it on Coinbase but that can get really expensive because of Coinbase's fees. So while Coinbase is one of the places that sort of best up is best at keeping up with all the different regulations and is a really above board place to, to do these kind of to do this kind of business. Um, if you're looking to really trade it, Coinbase has a sister exchange called GDAX. Uh, I think it's GDAX, GDAX. Uh, and technically, if you were to just go on GDAX with your, you can log in with your Coinbase account, so you don't necessarily have to create a separate account, but you can only trade. Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. And then starting in January 2018, they'll include Bitcoin Cash. Um, and that's one place you can trade. And you can just trade, you know, just like any kind of trading, you have price charts and you can do technical analysis to help you predict when you want to buy and when you want to sell. Buy it when it's cheap, sell it when it's expensive. But there are a lot of other cryptocurrencies out there and there are a lot of exchanges out there. So they all work the same way. You send your currency over. So basically you would get the address to deposit your Bitcoin or Litecoin or Ethereum and you would deposit it and then you can go trade. But you got to be careful. So some exchanges are scams and when you send your money over, it'll be gone. Um, so make sure you do your research, do your due diligence on what are sort of the more standard exchanges, the more reputable exchanges. Um, currently, I use exchanges like Bittrex um, and uh, Tidex, T-I-D-E-X. Um, I haven't really used many of the other ones, but there are there's Poloniex, um, Bitfin Bit uh, Bitfinance, or or there's a whole bunch of them. So, but the point is is do your due diligence because this is where you this is where you can easily lose your money more so than just buying bitcoin buying and selling bitcoin not the most controversial thing in the world what happens is a lot of people just send their money to the wrong place too quickly so do your due diligence before you just send your coin out there and make sure you're dealing with a reputable exchange but once your money's on there uh, again I, I i'll use like bitrix and, and tidex um, you just buy and sell. Again, you take a look at the price charts, and there's in there you have a huge variety of different coins you can buy and sell, and different what's called trading pairs. So on Bittrex, you can actually trade things in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and in US, USD tokens from Tether.to. Um, so based meaning you can buy and sell it in between those two assets. So for example, if I wanted to buy some waves there is a Bitcoin and Waves pair, which means I can buy Waves and Bitcoin, and there's a Bitcoin price for Waves, and then there's an Ethereum price for Waves, there's an Ethereum Waves a trading pair. So, different exchanges have different trading pairs and different currencies and whatnot. Find what it is that you wanna do, uh, but be careful, don't just let your money just sit on the exchanges, because exchanges come and go. So, if it's not part of a, if you're not trading the money, Move it into your wallet. Keep it in your wallet, where it's you know safe, and uh, you know keep an eye and keep an eye on fees, so that way you're not overly paying and not making as much money as you'd like. But that's all you have to do. The trade it's not it's nothing too complicated. You just send your money over to an exchange, and then you look up the trading pair that you're interested in trading, and then just hit buy and hit sell, hit buy and hit sell, and hopefully you make money. Maybe you lose money. So again, always be careful and always be assessed. Never play with money that you're not okay with losing. Okay, never play with money that you're not okay with losing. Okay, so if you're not okay with losing a thousand bucks, don't put in a thousand bucks on an exchange. If you're not okay with losing a hundred dollars, don't put a hundred dollars on an exchange. Okay, you can make money, but you can also lose it. People can, there are scam exchanges out there. So, you know, once you're leaving sort of that safer Coinbase, Tether.to uphold environment, um, you need to do the due diligence that you need to do to keep your funds safe. Um, cool.
So that's a little bit about trading it against it's a matter of sending it to an exchange. And then GDAX is associated with Coinbase. So it's probably the safest, most above board place where you can go trade currency. And since it's, an, it's the exchange behind Coinbase, um, the fees are minimal compared to doing buying and selling directly on Coinbase.com. So cool. I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com.